So the idea is to like or subscribe, or subscribe or like. You know, if you can like, if you can subscribe, both of those are good. I can't even hardly say that word, but if you could do it, it'd be great. Let me tell you what it does for you. Nothing. It does everything for me. So, you know, there's no reason to do it, but just do it. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like. Do all of that for me, please, today. Thanks. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so another viewer named Mark, as a matter of fact, uh, asked, um, so let's see, M. Ensor, as a matter of fact, says, uh, read uh, number 45, uh, the outcome from the s January the 6th. So what will be the outcome for 45 regarding January the 6th? I mean, that's a big ask. I mean, that's a huge ask. Everybody would like to know that. But we'll give it a shot. So this, these are the new Palladini tarot. And David Palladini, um, you know, he had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a, uh, a commission of doing uh, cards. And he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the tarot and decided to uh, to make this new deck. And so, um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so... I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them, are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They're just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like. And uh, maybe that'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy. If you want to buy some more cards or your first cards. or You know, I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like. So that's why I do this. New, new Paladini uh, Tarot. So yeah, it's a big question. I mean, it's a big, big, big ask. Everybody wants to know that. Of course, you know, is uh, 45 going to suffer? Uh, any consequences for what he launched on January 6th. Uh, I think he is already suffering some consequences, but it's uh, soothed in the salve of all those donations that are pouring in. Uh, but I'm sure there has to be stuff that's going on underneath in the core of that company that's not uh, working out too well. So the question is going to be then, number 45, Donald Trump. The outcome from that January 6th, he's going to suffer that outcome. I mean, if the cards could tell me, yes, he's going to jail on this date and he'll be there for this long and he'll have this amount of fine that he's going to pay and, um, you know, that's what I want. Or, or no, he's, he's not going to do a day. That can't be true. So, 45. If he's going to suffer from the outcomes of January 6th. So, we'll spread these cards out. I'm going to take six cards right off the top. This is one, that's two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're going to get four more at the end for the end of this Celtic cross. And right now, we're going to see what the cards say. And that's, we're just going to keep in mind the question is, um, is 45 going to suffer uh, regarding the outcome from January the 6th? Okay? Wow, those cards move. That's... It's goofy, but it's not uncommon. So the signifier card for that, okay, the High Priestess. Man, I mean, this is a strong card 
to open up with? Is he going to suffer for the, for what's happened on January 6th? And you know, the high priestess, it, which, what is she bringing to the party? She's bringing knowledge, she's bringing peace, she's bringing the truth. And she's bringing the Torah, and she's bringing uh, the cross. And look, the moon is right here at her, at her chest. Uh, yeah, the high priestess, look at her, her, her she, this woman knows what's getting ready to happen. And uh, there's no fooling around. This is just, she is karma. Um, the uh, challenge to that, though, okay, in regards to this question, is the king of rods. Okay, so the king of rods, the challenge to this all-knowing uh, karma, okay, this, the truth, the justice will be done kind of feeling, uh, and your intuition is going to lead the way. The challenge to that is the king of plans, of motion, of movement, of action. So maybe that's how he's, we're going to look at him right now. The basis of this reading, then, is the page, yeah, the basis is the page of swords, you know, sword. It's just the lowest of the court courts. He's just bringing an idea to court. And then the um, king and the queen will decide what to do. The knight will carry out the punishment or, or whatever it has to be done. So this is just, he's, he, all he knows is he's bringing this sword of, and for me, it's always a sword of truth and justice. So he's bringing this uh, to the court. This also could represent a spy in the camp. So there's, I'm sure there's several, as a matter of fact. So there we have that. The past of this reading is going to be the queen of cups. This has to be Nancy Pelosi. Okay, she is just she set this whole thing in motion. She's letting uh, it naturally start to take its uh, course. The sky in this reading, look at that, is the wheel of fortune. Of course it is. So it's even still this tenuous, as 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 sure as it seems to most of us, uh, it's still a roll of the wheel. Okay, and then the likely outcome of the first part of this is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we want to see that the Queen of Truth and Justice is uh, that's the way it's leaning. Uh, but then let's see what happens for the rest of this. The rest of this. So for the self of this question, will 45 suffer from the January 6th, from the outcome of what happened January 6th? And it looks like justice is coming his way. And that, that says law to me. Uh, the self of that uh, question then is the Ten of Rods. This is a, look, it was the King of Rods. He was opposing as a King of Rods, and now he's only the Ten of Rods. He's just pushing that load up the hill. Okay? Uh, he's in the environment of what? He's in the environment of... Uh, love of the lover. So, oh yeah, all the partnerships that are being made all around him, or that will be made, being made all around him, to uh, for other folks to get off or to have their sentences lightened, or for, for whatever reason, uh, the uh, he's in the environment of the lovers. Okay. The hopes and the fears for all of this is going to be right here. Justice, man. I couldn't have, I, if I had uh, choreographed this, I could have done this better. So the hopes is justice and the fear is that we don't get justice and then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing and this is really it's a tough one this is the one is the empress you know i think this is still this is the united states of america this is nancy pelosi um this is karma at its best the empress fertile and uh, and and ready to take on the world really so you know that's the united states of america right there so, I actually lost the video when I did this recap, so I'm trying to do it again. I've reconstructed the cards that I had, so I hope I got this right. Uh, but anyway, so it started out, I mean, this, the signifier of the whole thing was the high priestess, which was, of course, is uh, truth and justice and karma, really. So, and, but it was challenged by the King of Rods, King of Rods being uh, who uh, he is right now, the King of Action, Motion, Power, Planning. And um, then, um, I wasn't sure if this was the base, of, we had the page, it was either the Queen of Swords, or the Page of Swords was the base. I've forgotten which one it was. Uh, but either way, it's, it's truth and justice. And then the past of the whole thing was the, for the Queen of Cups. That's Nancy Pelosi. And the sky was the Wheel of Fortune, which, of course, is it's still a crapshoot, even with everything that we know. So um, then for the self of the last part of this, which I do know I got exactly right, uh, the Ten of Rods is who he's gone to from being the King of Rods. Now he's just the, you know, pushing uh, everything up that hill. It's a heavy load. And uh, it's in the environment of the lovers, which is all the partnerships that folks have been making around him while they get themselves off and uh, the hopes and the fears is what of course it's justice what else could it be and then the final outcome is America as the Empress that's what I think what do you think <music>